Your generation killed cheesy, Applebee's. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy. I love Applebee's. <laughs> Your generation killed the planet. Am I right? <laughs> Every chef knows there are unbreakable rules in the kitchen, but what happens when you actually break those rules? Do the TikTok teens dance on your grave, or are they just arbitrary myths peddled from chef to chef just waiting to be busted? To find out, we've assembled a highly trained team of serious culinary professionals. <laughs> to put them to the test, because this is Munchers. Yeah. You ready to bust some TikTok cooking myths? Yeah. yeah. Listen, as much TikTok. information as TikTok dishes out, an equal amount of misinformation comes from it, which is why I am moving for potential rebranding angles for Mythical Kitchen TikTok. Listen, our numbers have been lagging, so instead of cooking, I think we're gonna kind of switch it up a little bit. No more jars rolling down stupid stairs. We're throwing things from freeway overpasses onto cars. We've, con <laughs> we've yeah. hear me out. I told our legal team about this. They don't love it. Um, so my next idea, Taylor Swift conspiracy TikTok is boring. High school track and field conspiracy TikTok, unexplored territory, I think we do it. What's going on with Isam Asinga? I'm just saying, like the retest, did it ever happen? Who knows? Uh, finally, I think dance talk is a stale waste of time. What we do, we play records backwards to see the subliminal messages, then we do proto-European folk dances. I'm talking about the Sami people yeah. you know, up in Norway. Let's learn some of the dances. You guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I want a salsa. On the freeway? Yeah, no, 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 it's gotta, gotta be more weirder than salsa. Oh. Yeah, that's... like some deep stuff, like Ukrainian folk dances, some real yeah, pagan stuff. did this stuff. in the photo. <laughs> Look at her go. Now that's wow. being a wow, team player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first up, we found this incredible video where somebody took an iced ladle, a cold ladle, and put it into broth and all the fat adhered to it, which would completely eliminate the need to skim your broth, or as Nicole does, use a paper towel to blot off the fat. We're gonna test that out removing fat from broth. Mm -hmm. Second, have you seen somebody put parchment paper in a pan and fry stuff in it? That way you never have to clean your pan? You just line it with parchment? That's crazy. That's, That's crazy. awesome. Crazy. It's kind of thirsty. Crazy, never seen that done before. We're gonna test it out. Uh, pasta, this is a huge one. One pot versus two pot. TikTok is the home of one pot pastas. No longer is it Facebook. You're not Karen scrolling through saying, Trevor, you're a chef, you should make this. You know how his Aunt Karen sounds? No, now it's on TikTok. I've never made a one pot pasta before. We're gonna test that out. Finally, separating yolks. Do you put garlic on your fingers to just pluck them out? Do you use the weird little bottle hack? Everyone's coming out with a new hack to separate your egg yolks, you know? What's uh, Putin and Prigozhin, they're out there, they're separating egg yolks all kinds of ways, and we don't know what's going on, you know? Um, anyways, uh, versus, you know, eggshells, I have no idea. We're gonna put this all to the test, and separate truth from fiction once and for all. Are you ready? Yeah! All right, loser of this episode, everybody grab your cards, write down your guesses. Loser either has to learn a TikTok dance earnestly or become uh, a puppet talking head spilling propaganda for a shadow government of a totalitarian regime. Cool. Which one? Pick? Yeah, of course you get to pick one dance. Uh, the regime finds you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's get to cooking. <laughs> Trevor, we're just two dudes sitting in a hot pot 10 feet apart because we love spicy Sichuan soups. The spicy Sichuan version, which Julia has forbade me from getting at Heidi Lao Hot Pot. Yeah. Because I once torched my stomach so badly because when this boils down, the broth keeps reducing, but the fat remains on top. Mm -hmm. And so when you're dipping absorbent ingredients like yeah. tofu or mushrooms in there, it soaks it all up. So we need a way to remove that. Uh, if you're doing like French cookery, right, they would say to <laughs> depouillage it. Thank you, Nicole, for introducing the term depouillage, uh, which is skimming fat off 
with a spoon or using a paper towel to do that. So Trevor, you're gonna test out those two. We can see okay. all of the fat floating on top and God, this smells good. Yeah. I don't wanna be here. I wanna be at Hot Pot. I want the dude with the boom box and the dancing noodles. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It's my guy. Right. So um, I'm gonna go, oh, I should tell you the myth. The myth. <laughs> now, this is a thing that I've never seen before, but it's freaking genius. You take a big old soup ladle, which you got a hot pot, and you put it in ice, and then you keep this super cold. Fat solidifies and freezes at a much higher temperature than water, which means it'll attract to the spoon, and you can just pull it out and skim it that way. You yeah. ready to give it a try? Well, yeah, and if you're wondering, if you haven't ever been to the hot pot, and you may be thinking, how do you get a bowl of ice? Whenever you get the seafood, it comes out on little bowls of ice. Smart. You get the shrimps, and then you got a whole thing of ice. Or you get a whole watermelon that's soaked in soju that comes out on ice. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So we're gonna dip the ladle in here to attract the fat, pull it out, and we put it in here and it should solidify into a fat cone. <laughs> Don't breathe the steam. Yeah, it's so okay, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get a little. Has it solidified? Okay, we're getting fat on the outside of it. Yeah. Let's leave it in for a little bit longer, see what, see what we can attract. Maybe, this isn't like the fattiest broth in the world. You know? I mean, this feel, I don't know how much to tell how much of this is soup and how much of yeah, this is fat. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. Take this out and then boom, freeze it. See what happens. You got a lot of grease there. Like, we're doing the same thing, right? This yeah. you're using paper towels, but that you're probably getting some broth as well. Whereas this, you know, it's just gonna, it's a little bit of fat there chipping off. All right, let's see if the French know anything. One more time, one more time. Well, do, I, would you want, oh, you're going in again? Okay. I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna kind of like roll this around. It's in there. Back into the ice real quick, submerge it. Maybe if I go quicker. I think that the skimming seems to be working well. It's a little bit of a trick because you don't want to get a bunch of the chilies out, you know? You want those chilies. Gotta leave the chilies in because then you get to the bottom and you and you are just scraping at it with mm -hmm. your spoon and you're throwing that on top of your rice or your noodles and you're getting all those chilies. Yeah. And then you, you ruin date night the next day. <laughs> and then you just no, you just ruin your whole day next day. <laughs> See all the fat stuck to the outside of the ladle. But I've been in there four or five times and we're really not getting that much. It's my urge to just do this. My, um, yeah, well that's called skimming. <laughs> I know, but you know what, ladle skims. Um, I think we can call this myth busted, but before that, we gotta see if this is actually making a difference in your soup, right? I'm gonna toss in a little bit of tofs. You want some tofu in there? Uh, yeah. Listen, this Lots is toast just because we wanted to eat. But we want to see if this actually affects the eating experience because that's what this is all about, right? Yeah. Also, are we poor? Why don't we have beef? <laughs> Let's fish out our tofu. What? Where are you at? Where are you at? And okay. shrooms? Oh my oh, God. Look at all the, oh, yeah. that's good. Oh, I didn't. I... Oh, I'm going to grab you another one. You gra grab me the tofu from your side. I don't know where they are. This is what I do at Hot Pot though. I literally just fish around with my chopsticks <laughs> until I find something. <laughs> do, you, do you want me to dip I don't this use one in? a spoon. If you look at the tofs, the one that we tried skimming with the ladle as best as we could, you're getting a lot more oil in there. Yeah. Uh, and this one, again, tofu is super absorbent. That's a majority broth. This is getting some oil in there. Cheers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. our day. <laughs> oh, God, yes! Oh, ride the lightning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, ride the lightning, that's baby. Um, Trevor, officially, I think skimming it with a spoon. Ooh, that's good. <clears throat> I think skimming it with a spoon is the way to go. Oh. The ladle method, it looked really cool on the TikTok. I couldn't get it to work. Maybe y'all have a different experience, but you know what that means, Trevor? That means that minute has been much! God, I love Hot Pot. V, do you know what I don't do? What? I don't fry at home because everything gets greasy. You gotta wash a pan and you don't know, you don't really? ever know what to do with the oil, so. Nothing? Yeah. Not even chicken wings, anything? I, I really try to avoid it, oh, but man. maybe the TikTokers have figured it out. We are testing uh, if you can fry in parchment paper right. or we're gonna do it normally to in see if you can just avoid all of that mess. Right. And today we are gonna make some cornbread fritters um, per the TikTok and see what's going on. So we have some hot oil over here. I'm just gonna slide it over. Okay. Eh. So this is really interesting. It's the first time I've ever actually seen this because I only use this for baking and I would yeah. be super scared to even use it here because I feel like you can only use this at like a certain temperature. Yeah. That's only meant for the oven and not so much like the stove top. Also, and it could burn, right? Exactly. Like if you're using a gas stove, this is this is going to like, this could potentially catch on fire right. and blow up your entire kitchen. So yeah. it's a little bit of a safety hazard already just exactly. noticing it. I'm just gonna Here, put, I'm this on for you too. Thank you so much. I'm Somewhere. always scared I'm gonna burn my hair when I fry. Cause if this little string right here gets in that thing, it's over for yeah, me. Yeah, can you please not burn your hair up, please? <laughs> it just whacked me in the head. 
Oh, tell us about the cornbread, Lily. Oh what yeah, kind of so cornbread are we using? Um, I was like shopping at the store. Yeah. Um, for this episode. Yeah, we like, go there. Oh, yeah, and I was like, oh my god, what um cornbread mix should I get? And then so I called our friends at Sporks, and Justine answered, and she was like, oh, you should get this mix, but you don't know what the mix is. But if you head to Spork.com, you can find out. Spork.com. Conceal the information. <laughs> Make them go to Spork.com. Yes, Spork.com now. Go do there. It. Go That's there. Fun. There. Also, one thing I am noticing here is this isn't actually like touching anything. And one way to really ruin pans is just to have it on heat with no contact with any food or oil or anything. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is a great way to ruin just a pan. I just feel very pessimistic about this TikTok <sighs> trend. But I feel like it's just like soggy paper and I might get that flavoring on my food. All right, so we are at the same temperature at 350 degrees. We're gonna have these Sit measuring down. cups and scoop this nice unknown cornbread mixture. I think it looks pretty good, honestly. We're going. One, two, three, we're go. We're going, you're going. Going. I also feel like even though we're testing with cornbread fritters right mm -hmm. now, this could work in like maybe like bacon or something right. where the, sli the fat solidifies mm -hmm. because this is just peanut oil. So it's just gonna stay in liquid form. But with bacon fat or like Crisco mm -hmm. or something like that, where you can wait for it to cool down, it right. would be an easy cleanup after. We're gonna let these corn fritters fry up a little bit and we'll be right back. Yep. All right, Lily, are you ready to flip? I'm ready to flip. Okay, one, two, three. I Ooh, can't. I broke mine. No, I didn't. I can't. We're good, we're good, we're good. So do you think it's because of the parchment? <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> Am I like flip. a horrible cook? No, you're the best cook. What are you talking about? <laughs> It might be the parchment, it might be me as a chef, but it was very hard to flip, yeah. so. Yeah, we're just like gonna let this cook on the other edges side. Edges kind of just like get in the way sometimes of things. Yeah. Do you know any other TikTok dances? <laughs> um, uh, I'm a freak, yeah. What's the word? You know the words, don't you? Uh, it's your favorite song. I'm uh, a freak, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a jealous guy. Lily. B. We made fritters. We made, well, we made big ol' fritter first. Y yours looks like a folded pancake. Yeah, it does. Um, but it still looks good. But we made n nice little regular size fritters yeah, as well. We did. So initially, I do want to like point out this. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no holes in the parchment or anything. That's I don't good. know if you can see this, but it is a very clean pan wow. down there. It sure is. So there are no like holes. Parchment is very sturdy paper, so it is a great cooking tool. And but it I'm didn't still burn, convinced. which is great. Yeah, was, no burning. That was the main concern I had. <laughs> Should we try uh, some fritters? Yeah, I'm gonna move this out there because yeah, it's like super hot. Okay, so pot. Pot first. First with no parchment. Oh yeah. That's okay. super hot. Okay. Mmm. Mm. She's a good fritter. This nice. is a good cornbread mix that you won't know until you go to spark.com. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, parchment, parchment. You had a hard time getting these out of that pan. I that was did. the main thing I saw. I thing. couldn't, like, I. so when I flipped the big one, I was like, maybe because it's just big. Whoa. But then we did the small ones, and I was like, they're also very hard to flip. Um, initially, I see dark, we made sure our oil temperatures were like the same and mm -hmm. whatnot. I do see some like darker spots here as well, so. Yeah. Um, I just took I a bite, that. and it's definitely a lot crunchier from the outside, a lot crisp. Kind of like crunchy in a way that you don't want it to. It's like saturated, it's super saturated. Yeah. Um, it does have a very big difference though. It kind of like melts in your mouth as well, but not in a good way. It almost tastes grainy a little bit. It does taste really grainy. Right? Mm hmm Yeah, so this is a different texture and it does taste really grainy. Right. I'm thinking maybe because the pan got so hot with no contact with actual like mm -hmm. oil or anything on it, maybe it had like hot spots on it or something. Oh, possibly. I don't know, but it is a super grainy texture and not that enjoyable. No, not really. So going back okay. to our pan. We do want to show this. And actually picking it up. Be careful, because this is still hot. Like ideally you'd want to wait for it to cool down. Right. Um, kind of just gather it. Gather, oh God, this is oh. unsafe. You're this is oil. unsafe. You're smelling oil. See, yeah, like it's not. Can Maybe we just... can just show them the pan underneath and just like lean it. Yeah, this is. Without me spilling more oil. Yeah, okay. it's, it doesn't really like save you any time and you have to be all it. careful with it. There's like a fire hazard as well. Right. So I just, I don't know. Um, I don't think this is a good hack. No, I'd rather just wait for that and clean it up. So that means <laughs> that <laughs> this, 
This Wait. man. <laughs> this man. <laughs> this man. Munch does. Munch does, right? Okay, so we are gonna vote pot for this. Yes. No parchment paper. No parchment which paper. Which means that we, we munched that myth. myth. In solidarity, we will not be cooking until you go visit sparks.com. Can play this game all day. Wasn't it informative? All right, great. So <laughs> we watched a TikTok video, as you do, yeah. of a lovely British man making pasta that he enjoys. And it filled me with so much rage. It filled, no, you, you, he did fantastic. It looks delightful because he did the one pot pasta thing. This is a huge trend on TikTok where instead of boiling your pasta and mixing it with the sauce, finishing it, all that, like one would say normal, they just put the pasta right in a dish and then uh, pour water on it in an indeterminate amount of water, slough all the other ingredients onto it, put a lid on, stir it around, they say it's good. I've never done this in my life. We're gonna try it today versus my two pot method. Can someone put a timer on? So don't put a timer on. I just want to see how long it takes. Uh, give Trevor a 30 second head start. This in one pot. Um, this is uh, inspired by a pizza a la diavola. Spicy, salami, pizza, some other stuff. So anyways, uh, we're taking these lovely noodles. He used these. I don't even know what these are called, but these rule, dude. I They're got it. Awesome. Squiggle, squiggle getty. Yeah, squiggle getty. We're putting some squiggle getty in there. But I love this guy because it looks so pretty. The way he just does all the ingredients around the side and then you take this massive hunk of burrata and just plop it right in the center. And how beautiful is that? It's so pretty. I'm gonna start by rendering out the fat for my salami, giving me a base for the other veggies and aromatics to actually be sauteed in there because that is how you should make pasta. Mm, yeah, but this looks pretty. It's rad, it's cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. And you, you're, you're pressed for time, you just dump all the beauty in, you put a lid on it, I hate it. Just put the lid on it now? I hate it, yeah. God, put, put the lid cooking on. made easy, am I right? And now here I am, I've rendered some fat for my salam. Hey, guess what, now I can watch more TikToks. God dang it, oh God, TikTok. this is what, this is why. I can find more one pot pasta TikTok recipes. Did it. More TikTok cooking hacks. Quick, quick, somebody give me a hack to do. I love classic. If you Savage you can shave your, ratchet. you can stir your tomato paste with a cleaver, and that cuts up the tomatoes more, which makes the paste smoother. Sometimes things TikTok are hack or hard. TikTok, TikTok hack. hack for everything. TikTok humans, hacks. Humans have been cooking since the invention of fire. I mean, hundreds of thousands of years ago, we have been doing this, and then oh, suddenly, oh, you're 18, you got a little appy on your little phone, and you figured out something that the masters of cooking have been doing it for hundreds of thousands of years have never thought about? Get the hell out of here. If this works, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. So we're gonna season up our tomatoes with a little bit of salt. I love seasoning my tomatoes with salt because it expresses the juices out. You really want these tomatoes to turn into a sauce. Trevor, do not stir you, that is dangerous. <laughs> gonna add some pasta water to this just to stop the cooking. And this is gonna create a lovely little sauce. Oh, you're still cooking? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't be me. I'm just playing <laughs> with my cleaver. <laughs> Wait, how long are you supposed to cook that for? How long did this lovely he British man cook it for? He didn't say. <laughs> <laughs> he just pulled the lid off at some point. Trevor, it has been how many minutes? And my pasta is done boiling, so I, like you know, a chef, would take the pasta and throw it right into my cooking sauce. How is your pasta doing? That looks horrifying, I hate it. Well, here's the thing is that you don't really, you gotta guess. You just gotta go, and that's what cooking is all about, is intuition, and guessing when your food is done. So I'm gonna take this cleaver and I'm gonna do what's called yeah. the spin method. This is so watery. <laughs> yeah, that adds up. Liquidy this that adds up. My pasta, it's introduced into the sauce because I sauteed all the ingredients together and provided agitation with a base of fat. That has fully liquefied into the sauce. Now I'm going to take my induya and I'm going to add my induya right in there along with this whole burrata, which I, I am already a little bit skeptical about but that is part of this cheese and rice. Burrata, the whole thing about it, it's just mozzarella stuffed with cream, and like, there's no point in using it in a recipe like this, I believe, I believe. You can just use mozzarella, use some sort of creamed cheese. Have you, you ever, have you ever seen, have you ever seen uh, that, that, that image of where there's the guy on the bus and one looks really sad and one looks really happy because one look, one's looking at a mountain and one's looking out the window yeah. at a beautiful landscape? Good. You're like the guy on the bus that's looking at, at, a mount, at a mountain and you're all sad because like, oh, you have to do the burrata, get mozzarella, double cream. And it's like, I'm so happy because I just put everything in a pot 
and it's probably still gonna taste good and it might not be perfect, but here's the thing is that I'm happy because I'm looking at a beautiful landscape. Your generation killed cheesy, Applebee's. Cheesy, 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 cheesy. I love Applebee's. <laughs> Your generation killed the planet, am I right? <laughs> I'm officially pulling, what's my final time? 1846. Trevor, how much longer you got on yours? Till I'm happy. <laughs> Till I'm happy with it. All right, team happiness and friendships pasta is done. And boy, do I feel confident about me dumping this out and the pot being super easy to clean afterward. All right. Like we just thought it was a good idea to give anybody a global audience. Oh. Like anybody who wants it. You didn't think that would like fall into the wrong? There are like super villain origin stories about this stuff. Yeah, the reason they call it one pot pasta is because you can only use the pot once. Because it's got, look at all the crap. <laughs> that is so much crap on the bottom there's, of that pan. That is so much crap stuck, stuck in there. <laughs> but it looks yummy. It looks pretty good actually. I, and again, this is like a pasta with a lot of ingredients in it. And so if you're doing a basic spaghetti, pomodoro or something, you might be able to, that's so much stuck there. You might be able to taste the difference. I kind of have a feeling that the one pot's gonna taste roughly the same as the two pot. But what was Trevor's final time? 26 minutes, 30 seconds. Okay, so eight minute differential, it's quicker with two pots, and then you gotta wash a pot. But if it takes you eight minutes to wash a single pot, you're losing, but you're probably distracted on your phone watching more TikToks about what one pot pasta okay. you're gonna cook in the future. But what, how much time save do you get from me setting it and leaving it and not looking at it versus him actively cooking the whole time? Also, oh, that's a good point. how valuable is it that during those 28 minutes you're happy instead of angry? Are you trying yours, sir? I think we try tried mine because yours is so hot. Yeah, I mean, this is hot I'll too. I'll hold but... it though, just like I'll nestle it in my bosom. Right. Here we go. Ow. I mean, it's good. It tastes like it tastes like an Italian hamburger helper, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. It's just like there's um, it's it's a lovely pasta recipe. I I don't love using mozzarella cheese in this application. I would have just used some creme. Yeah. Um, right, I'll get in here. Try one bot. Get into my bosom. Uh huh. Okay. I remember being a kid reading the Bible in school, and I didn't know what a, I always said bossum, and I didn't know what it meant. Oh, ha. Yeah, it's just as good, if not better. <laughs> yeah, pasta. Yeah, <laughs> version. Happiness wins. I would actually choose the one pot pasta over that. Hey, hey, you know what that means, Josh? That means there's mid much eyes. I want to apologize for losing my cool the last beat, but I want you to know that I have sworn off TikTok for the next 31 minutes until I go back on and get filled with virulent rage again. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me this time to heal. Um, we seen it's another video uh, where a man, he rubs garlic on his fingers and he claims that it releases something called mer captains, which I thought was a military rank for mer people. You got mer generals, you got mer captains. Don't mer mess with the- uh, and, and then you, have, you just pinch the egg yolk and whatever chemical on the garlic allows the egg yolks to stick to your fingers and then you pop it right in there. But there's a lot of other methods for separating egg yolks and egg whites. On TikTok, this is the biggest problem to solve. And so another one, you take bottle and you kind of release the air, you go, you slurp it up. I normally just go in with my mouth and I call it bobbin for yolks and then I spit them mm. right in there. Uh, then there's another thing that I've done before where you use an eggshell because there's some sort of magical gravitational pull um, that you add on there. And then Lily's just gonna go digging for clams with her hands. Yeah. And so to make sure this is scientific, we are going to take our phones out and record the times. Uh, I will. I love competition. I don't have my phone. Wait, I'm trying to. How do I get? I'm sorry, I'm so, That's I don't know how to stop. I don't know how to stop it. You got. Hold on, Trevor. You, you got your timer up. <laughs> yeah, Lily. When your hand touches it, I press start. Okay. Okay. Are you Three. ready? Okay. Yeah. And go. Are we, oh, come on, Lily. Me? Go, come go, on. Go, this go, is go. like John Henry ah! versus the steam driver or whatever. Ah! What time you got? 19.21. <laughs> That's almost the world record for the men's 200 meter dash. <laughs> I've had a lot of white in there. Though. You're in between Usain Bolt and Johan Blake at that point. Uh, I got 1975, which I believe is close the to the world under 20 band. record. Which might be held by Esau Masinga, the person who I referenced earlier. The 1975, huh. also a band. Better reference than yeah. Josh's. When my finger touches the eggshell, Lily, okay. that's when it officially okay. starts. But okay. ca count us in on three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Now he's 
Yeah, Why are you one-handing it? Get in there, get in there. No, no, no. You're supposed to use what the What the crap? More garlic. Oh, no, dude. We're, I was mixing Frick. up the mist. Turn, turn, right hand. I was mixing up Frick. the mist. I was Frick. doing a different one. No. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. This is how I normally do it. You got it, son. You got it. Rub that garlic. You are the garlic. This, you got the. What the crap? <laughs> you are ah. the garlic. Sorry. This crap doesn't work. <laughs> now you gotta rub your hands on them, all, buddy. I did. Oh, I did. Oh, try. Keep the clock going. The clock doesn't stop. Keep the clock oh, going. God, you got a text message. It takes a village. I think you really gotta rub it in there. Who was texting? Oh God! It says love bug. What bug did you find outside? Um, my golf um, It's my golf win. Oh. Uh, See, I'm <laughs> Lily. I have a I have a point to make. Go ahead. Um, I feel like the only time where you would be separating a lot of eggs is in baking, and you might not want garlic in your baking. Okay. Wait a tick. Well, maybe I do wait want garlic wait, 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 in my wait, banana wait. bread. Th this, they're just cracking. It doesn't work. Hey, wait, let me roll. Did none it. of us think about that before this? What else would you be like carbonara? Like what is that the only thing? It's not working. What else like, would you not, need you make, to do this for? My hair's in the air. Oh my god, Wait, guys, I... breaking news. Holy crap. We There's don't... a TikTok hack that's useless. You okay, get garlic. Okay, 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 this is going on TikTok. Okay, it's going on TikTok. You get garlic on your fingers, you rub your fingers in garlic, and then you hand scramble the eggs, and now you got garlic scrambled eggs. Yeah, but do a proto-European folk dance. <laughs> Trevor. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Standing. Yeah. There he goes. Good. Good. Someone play Dark Side of the Moon backwards. Good. 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 Yes. You're doing great, sweetie. Scrambled eggs. Use that original sound on your next TikTok. In conclusion, what's going on? This what myth. Has been punched! Fifth Munchers! Yeah! Whoa. Didn't touch it that yeah. time. Wow. <laughs> Let us review. So, in the first one, we found out that skimming with a spoon is more effective than using the ice ladle technique. It looked fun in the TikTok. We could not recreate the results at all, and paper towels just kind of annoying. Skim with a spoon, it actually worked really well. Myth number two, we found out that parchment, uh, yeah, probably a fire hazard, a little bit dangerous, makes your food worse for somewhat mysterious reasons. Probably because you're just putting a bunch of wet paper into a freaking bowl. Uh, just fry your stuff in a pot, deal with it, you gotta clean a pan. Uh, myth number three, pasta. This one worked me up into a frothing rage because <laughs> as it turns out, one pot pastas are pretty good. If you're cooking a complex pasta where you're melting a bunch of cheese into it and doing all of that, it works really, really well. Myth number four, rubbing your hands with garlic to release a chemical that makes egg yolk stick to your hands was poorly done. As Lily pointed out, all your baked goods are gonna smell like eggs, but as Trevor pointed out when he was fingering them garlic eggs, um, maybe you want that in certain situations. Garlic hand scrambled eggs. Yeah, but ultimately that did not work, <laughs> and we found out that using the bottle technique, which I suppose is a different TikTok hack, that did work. So. How much you get right? Hi, I guess skimming pot, one pot, hand, and use this original sound in your next TikTok. I got three. It's pretty good. Lily, how many did you get? Skimming pot, two pot, hand, I'm a savage. <laughs> I got two. That's not bad. V, how many did you get? I picked skims, pot, one pot, hand, and TikTok is lying to you. It's really just a seahorse. Three. Yeah. Hi, Josh. I just think that um, some people, such as in the Iraq, don't have in <laughs> South Africa access to maps. I guess ice ladle, pot, two pot, bottle, and I still believe in the power of legacy journalism. And it's really important. I got two right. Um, yeah, I really believe in the ice ladle. That didn't work at all. Um, Trevor, you and I got two? I got three. Oh, yeah, yeah, you Lily guys got two. two. Lily, hey, okay, I'll, I'll make you a deal. You learn a TikTok dance while I wait for an upsettingly totalitarian regime to reach out to me to become their mouthpiece for disinformation on TikTok. Sound like a deal? Deal. Don't do that. All right. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. Hope you learned something from today's episode, um, or hope you at least learned to maybe go touch grass once in a while. Please get off the TikTok unless you're following us. Follow at Mythical Kitchen. We need the views. We need the views because the views then pe then the, then Taco Bell. Then we get please please follow us on TikTok. I need it. I need it for inside for inside me. There's something deep inside me that can only be filled with TikTok. There's a hole. There's a hole shaped like the TikTok logo. It wasn't there before, but the TikTok came out and it branded a deep hole inside my stomach. And that hole can only get filled by you on TikTok. All right, I'll see you next time. The Spork team is tirelessly taste testing groceries every day so you can buy only the best. Find what you're looking for on spork.com.